today we're just going to be covering something I've been meaning to cover for quite some time. Nothing has really prevented me from doing it. More sheer not sure, me not being sure if people want to know this. Like, I, it would have been logic to me saying, like, everyone knows what this does. Uh, only recently did I realize. No, probably you don't. I'm just going to insert keyboard sensors. I'm going to insert this one with W. And this one with space bar. Then I'm going to add an and, an or, a nan, a nor, an xor, xor, and an xnor, as well as a python. I won't be covering expression in today. Expression will need an entire video of its own. That'll be in part two. So, let me just explain what these do. I'm just going to add an actuator as the goal of the mission. So it causes that. And I'll wire all of these into there. So, what a controller is, is it basically controls the stream to the actuator. So it's not really if this, then this, because that that's not really what it is. So it's more of this. And here, I'll just I'll demonstrate with an and. This an and determines, as the name says, this and this equals this. Or if I have like another one that's set to x, this and this and this. So. And that shows how the stream works. So if we here, I play the game. If I press W, nothing happens. If I press spacebar, nothing happens. If I press S, nothing happens. If I press W and spacebar, nothing happens. But if I add the S in, then the actuator happens. So this and this and this equals the actuator. So I will remove and now because that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, what does an or do? Well, that's also quite simple. This, or I should say, this or this or this or this or this. Let's just wire it. All, let's wire all three of them in. It won't move, so if I press W, it moves. If I press spacebar, it moves. If I press S, it moves. If I press W and spacebar, it moves. If I press all of them, it moves. It doesn't matter which one it takes. It just moves. So that's what an OR determines. It's different from an AND but it determines relatively the same thing. So let's do a NAND. So most are confused when it comes to a NAND. What is it? What's the significance of the NAND? So what a NAND does is it's basically what I call an inverted AND. So basically, I'll wire these in. It, it doesn't explain what it actually does. I run this, it waits for an update, and then it runs, and it, I w it waits for all three to be pressed to cut off the stream. So this thing runs automatically, but if I press just W, then it moves, but if I press all of them, it doesn't move. And that's what it's trying to determine as an AND. It waits for the first update, for the first, any key to, basically for any of the three keys to be pressed, it moves, and then, it, and then if I hold them all, cuts off the stream. It's kind of like turning off the light switch, except that it's kind of like a holding down of the button will turn off the light, but if you release the button, then the light stays on. So that is a NAND. NOR. So NORs are kind of like NANDs, but different. So not this, nor this, nor this, equals this. It waits for the first update, and then it moves. And then you can press any of them, or any of them in a combination, it works. But if I press like R, nothing will happen because I only have W, X, and spacebar. So that's how a NOR works. But they are also pretty simple. XOR. XOR, I find it's it's basically an OR, except except it's kind of like X or this happens. So if I wire all of these into the XOR. It, 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 
hard to explain in XOR because XORs are, are probably one of the most powerful controllers that there is. So if I just go to like, if I press W, at, then it moves. If I press spacebar, it moves. And I if I press S, it moves. But if I combine like S and spacebar, then it doesn't move. Or if I press W and spacebar, or W and S, or S, W, or all of them, it only moves when one of them individually, so X. It's either X or the other one, but never, but never the X and the other one. That's what it is. You'll never use it with just one controller. So X nor is where you take the an inverted an inverted or, as I say, and you add the same X rule as an X or onto it. Simplifying things a little. Four. Eight. Nine. Eight plus one is nine. Eight is the last digit. And three. Three inverse. Okay. And I have that. And I have this. All of them. And as you can see, it's technically not a controller. If I just choose one, you can see what happens there. I chose one. So, yeah, that's how that works. Um, and you have to state in your script um, why motion control, why you should state that it needs to be attached to motion control to work. I won't say that in the whole script, it's a little long and short. But anyways, now let's get into this little button here. This little button here, if I turn on the on device, it's just this little button. I'm going to make this one with the button on instruments can go on or that they can happen. So this determines when it's on, that means it actuates before um, the ones that are off. So if I press W and spacebar and S, you can see it's going to move. If I press S, it'll move. But if I press W and spacebar, it'll move. It'll override it. So that means it actuates first. So it, this is true for all controllers. And anyways, in part two, I will cover the expression controller a little more in depth. So uh, see you then.